Sports Video Group is in Las Vegas at the 2018 NAB Show. Brandon Costa here with you for Sports Video Group. We have the pleasure now to be joined by Mr. Gordon Tubbs, who's joining us here at our Chairman's Forum, and he's got an exciting week lined up here for NAB. Gordon, great to see you. How's Thank everything you going? Thank you very much, Brandon. Thanks for having us. Of course. So, uh, obviously, NAB is one of the big shows in the calendar for you guys, and uh, 4K will again be another prominent theme at this year's show. Exciting cameras, lenses, everything. Uh, what are some of the things that you're excited about that's in store uh, as it relates to the sports market? Well, you know, interesting, uh, 4K is used probably too much. We try to talk about HDR, we try to talk about ultra high definition, or we try to talk about why 4K lenses can be used in many applications that aren't 4K. So we are introducing uh, our 10th 4K lens, or actually our 9th and 10th if you count it that way. Uh, it's a 46 to 1 semi-portable lens. Uh, it's replacing a, a 42 to 1 HD lens in our line. It's been in our line for a long time. Used for multitudes of things for sp from sports broadcasting to wildlife to helicopters and, and aircraft. So um, it's a big important lens introduction for us. But what's interesting is it's not just that it's 4K. Um, on Wednesday morning, Mark Shubin is going to be speaking in our booth and his uh, subject is going to be why you need 4K lenses when you're not doing 4K. And it all has to do with HDR. We can really help assist cameras and monitors with uh, the best possible pictures, meaning high contrast, black blacks, white whites. If we can feed that kind of image to the camera, it makes better HDR images. So the 4K lenses were all designed with that in mind. So whether it's a 4K project, or to be honest with you, whether it's just a, an HD HDR project, that 4K lens will make a difference. And that's sort of the story we want to tell at uh, NAB. Yeah, I mean, that's been one of the interesting parts of this whole 4K transition is that even if it's not being distributed in 4K, you're seeing a lot of people acquire in 4K, whether it's for their own archives, the future proof themselves, or as you have been saying, it makes better HD too. It kind of makes your HD look better. It seems like that's a message that's been received and is kind of playing out, especially in the sports marketplace. Yeah, it absolutely is. I mean, for a while, people were saying, well, I don't need a 4K lens. And here we are a year or two later now, and it's, well, I don't need it for 4K, but I need its capabilities. Mm -hmm. So we are transitioning to that now. And there's a, a for example, a, a new truck that uh, NEP built on the West Coast for uh, Mariners baseball that has 4K capable cameras, 4K capable Fujinon lenses, but that's being used in HD. So that's a very viable uh, production method right now. All right, Gordon. Well, thanks a lot for the time. Appreciate you sharing your expertise, and have a great week here in Vegas. Thank you, Brandon. We appreciate it very much. All right. So be sure to visit Fujinon's booth over at the Las Vegas Convention. Center this week, and for complete coverage of the 2018 NAB show, you can follow us online at sportsvideo.org.